Hey guys, so today we're on uh, a little mission with the PJ. Um, we uh, we got a little bit of ply gem stuff to unload for the uh, house build, and then we're gonna do our first modification, and uh, we're gonna put some fork pockets underneath the trailer. So um, I've got one of my welder buddies doing that. So gonna get this ply gem stuff unloaded then gonna head to his shop and we'll see how the fork pockets go and then we'll probably come back out here and we'll see how everything fits and how it's all gonna work so hopefully a quick little video and uh the first first modification to tilty so very good uh i'll let you know how it goes over at the shop Very good. Logan, welcome to YouTube. So PJ is getting some work tonight. My buddy Logan is putting some little fork pockets on. So they're like 36 inches apart roughly. And uh, I'll get them all painted up soon. Life will be good. So we're using some big square stock that he had from other jobs and stuff. So using up his secondhand scrap and uh, making it useful. So the PJ gets her first mods, very good. I'll go over the painting process when we get there, but uh, pretty excited to be able to store the forks on the, on the side of the trailer, then up on the deck, uh, make everything a little easier for towing and whatnot. So next mod, black rims. Okay, so we're back and uh, I got that warming up so we can try it out and we've got two new fork pockets. So we will, we will see how she works. Um, he had some ideas about like welding, like a permanent ratchet strap on and stuff so that there would always be one there to strap the forks to the side. Um, for how much they'll probably actually get used, I'm not too worried about it, but I didn't want to have a ratchet strap in the way because as you can see, I still didn't unload my ply gem boards and I don't want a ratchet to be on this rail permanently and then have to strap something there and then have that ratchet be in the way. So we shied away from that idea, but uh, that's all right. So I'll jump into the tack and we will load the forks in and uh, we'll see how the first modification to Tilty works out. Um, should be pretty good. The, the channels are plenty big enough. Um, it's a little goofy underneath. I'll see if I can kind of point it out um because of where the supports are so we have that one's like three foot and this one's like 16 inches but um everything is welded up really nice and solid so don't think that it'll be too much of a problem um i'm gonna have to do some masking later and uh and do a little paint so um i'll get after that at some point but uh but not quite yet so uh let's jump in the talk and uh we'll see how the forks fit very good. So um, three foot works out pretty nice because uh, the forks are usually like in one notch on either side for the man basket and that works out for this too. So um, as you can see, we just have two little pockets, which this one still has plenty of support for the forks. And then uh, I can just now take a ratchet strap or a short chain and I can hit my rail and I can wrap around and I can hit this rail and then the uh, the forks can store on the side. Uh, the deck is wide enough that I can put the man basket up front and it'll only hang off of that side a little bit and it'll sit right up tight to the forks on this side and then I can put the tack and the bucket on the back and uh, have plenty of deck space so I can move uh, the machine with the basket, the bucket, the machine itself, and, uh, and the forks all in one, one fell swoop. So uh, very good, I got plenty of deck space for everything. So the first mod for the, uh, for the PJ is complete. Very happy with that. It's exactly what I was looking for. I'll get some primer and paint on those channels so they don't start rusting. And uh, then hopefully the next PJ video, we can talk about uh, sending these ugly white rims off for some black powder coats. So um, pretty happy with that. 
thanks again to uh, my buddy Logan for welding those up for me and uh, another another project complete so I'm gonna take these forks off and get this uh, these ply gem boards off of here so we can keep rolling on the house here so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to uh, like comment and subscribe all the fun stuff and uh, I'll keep these videos rolling take her easy